Ford is canceling their massive EV plans to focus on selling vehicles that Americans really want to purchase, the new Ford Super Duty. But there's a big catch with this next generation Super Duty. Now for context, I kind of want to take you down memory lane, if you will. So take it back a little over a year ago in April of 2023. Ford Motor Company announced that they're gonna spend $1.8 billion Canadian to make this new Canadian plant, the Oakville assembly plant, into this massive, massive EV plant. But then EV sales started to slow down. So what happened? Well, about a year later, in June of 2024, Ford Motor Company actually completely canceled the Model E Elite program for its dealers. And if you don't know what that is, just pause the screen and you can read it for yourself. But now Ford Motor Company is even backing up on their EV plans for that Oakville plant. So what's going on here? The plant that was going to be building these massive amounts of EVs is now going to be focused on selling and building these super duties. So Ford is going to be retooling the plant so that way they can build more of these commercial vehicles than ever before. They call these commercial vehicles their Ford Pro vehicles. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and say, if this video sounds negative or even hateful towards EVs, it's not. You're talking to a guy that owned an F-150 Lightning for 25,000 some odd miles. I just think it's nice that Ford Motor Company is able to shift their focus. They can see that if the demand starts to fall off on a specific product, regardless of the fuel type, that they can make the pivot when they need to. And so quite frankly, the, the Super Duty is Ford's most profitable and their most popular vehicle. Well, I guess the F-Series is, but it's very, very profitable and popular for them. And I think the decision just makes a lot of sense. So once they're done making this transition inside the plant, that plant in Canada is going to be the third North American assembly plant for pro vehicles. Now, I know what you're thinking, well, it's not in America. This plant should be in America. And you know, I have no hate for you Canada boys. I promise you that. But I do need to let you know that Ford actually builds more vehicles in the United States than anyone else. They employ more hourly manufacturing workers than any other manufacturer. So just kind of keep that in mind. But this plant in Canada, yes, I know, will be creating over 2000 jobs because you got to think about not just this assembly plant, but you're going to need an engine plant to support the extra engines you're going to be building and using and, and so on and so forth. All of these transitions, we're hoping to have that done and I say we're <laughs> like, like I am Ford. Yes, we are a Ford dealer, but we have nothing to do. Ford did not check with me before they started this decision. But anyway, Ford is going to be investing $3 billion in this transition. So what does $3 billion get you? It gets you an extra 100,000 Super Duty trucks that they can build per year. Now, if you factor in like a 12-hour shift, that's an extra incremental Super Duty every two minutes above and beyond what they're already building. So kind of keep that in mind. So there's one little wrench that Ford threw into this press release that they released. Is that the new Super Duty is going to be multi-energy. Multi-energy technology. So what does that mean? Could that mean that they are now going to have a gas, a diesel, and an EV version of the Super Duty? I don't think that's the case because Jim Farley was just interviewed talking about how these massive EVs are not very efficient as far as it needs a massive battery just to go a normal, reasonable distance. And so, I don't know, I, I really think that you might be looking at down the face of a new hybrid version of a Super Duty. That makes a little bit more sense because with that extra electrification, just like on the hybrid F-150, you can power you know, your house with that pro power on board. You get into a storm situation or if you're working on a commercial job site, because by the way, these are pro vehicles or commercial vehicles, uh, but let's say you're powering your house, you can, you know, power a small portable air conditioner. You can power up your, uh, your refrigerator or your freezer so your food doesn't thaw out and ruin. Uh, there's a lot of practical applications of having a hybrid type of a technology. So I think the hybrid is going to be the version. I don't think it's going to be EV specifically. But they also said that this new plant is going to be a fully flexible plant. What in the world does that mean? Well, they've also committed that alongside this new Super Duty, 
they're going to be building a three row electric vehicle at the same time. So what does that mean? Now, I don't have any insider information on any of this kind of stuff, but I'm just kind of basing it off of all the public things that I've been able to piece together from Ford Motor Company. And I mentioned to you that interview that Jim Farley said, you know, the Expedition would actually make a lot of sense because Expedition and Super Duty currently share a whole lot of similar body panels or interior components. They're similar in size. And so it would actually make a lot of sense if they had an electrified version of the Expedition. But Farley just talked about how these massive EVs are not fuel efficient. So I think that's why they will probably lean more into a Ford Explorer. And keep in mind, there's already a Ford Explorer EV across seas in Europe right now. So I think that will be the next generation of EVs. I don't see them going from the Mustang Mach-E all the way up to an Expedition. I think they'll go from a Mustang Mach-E to an Explorer and then maybe an Expedition after that. I think they have to crawl, walk, then run. Um, once again, thank you so much for watching this video. If you're interested in buying your next Ford vehicle from a dealership that actually cares and is competent, give us a call. The phone number is right there on the screen. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day. Peace.